Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, in this very quick and easy tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, place two images onto an A4 page. Um, now the reasons you may want to do this are to um, send things to print. Um, there will be other um, desktop um, uh, publishing reasons but uh, generally um, you, you'll find that it's a good method to enable you to place two pictures on one piece of paper um, so you can send it to uh, maybe an, an A4, A4 printout um, for, for maybe uh, cost effective reasons. So um, the first thing we're going to do is going to create a new document. So file new and we're going to load up an A4 document. So in presets we're going to go to international paper and we're going to ensure that A4 is selected. Now you could choose a number of sizes here so just make sure you're um, selecting the size that you want to print onto Okay, so this is going to be your, your final print document size. Uh, checking the resolution is 300 pixels per inch, so maximum quality, and then just clicking on OK. Um, next thing to do is to make sure you have your Move tool selected. Uh, we're going to go to one of our two images here. One is, uh, one is Portrait and uh, one is Landscape, so I can demonstrate the fact that you can use um, two different images uh, of different uh, orientations and we're going to go to image and image size first just to check um, what size the image is now this image is actually uh, an, an A4 uh, uh, size document so we're just going to hit OK and we're going to check this image too and again we see it's A4 now both of them are also the same resolution which is very very important so we need to make sure this is 300 pixels per inch if not you can simply change it um, and, and um, press OK to kind of commit that change. Now, if we were to drag one image into the uh, into this um, A4 document, you'll find that it's a little bit too big. Now, your your choice here is that you go to image and image size again, um, and you resize your document there, or you can use the crop tool uh, and input what size you want your picture to be at the top there, um, and then crop it down. There's two options there, or and the way I'm going to show you is to um, simply resize it once it's in uh, in that document. So again, just making sure I've got the move tool selected. I'm going to go to select and select all to select the whole image, and then I'm simply going to go to copy, and then once we're on that A4 page, go to edit and paste. Okay, so now because it's much too big, uh, just by clicking on that I can move it around. So as long as the move tool is selected, then if we press Control T on the keyboard, um, it will bring up the transform functions, which will allow you to kind of stretch down the uh, the image size. Now you see, as I'm stretching down, it's going to distort the picture. So if we hold down Shift on the keyboard, it will make sure that the proportions are are maintained. So I'm just going to shrink it down, and then I'm going to let go of the mouse first, and then I let go of Shift. And I'm just going to move the image over. So you can see it's uh, still a little bit too big. So I'm just going to shrink it down just a little bit more. And just to position it again. There we go. And then just double click to commit that. You can alternatively just press enter on the keyboard or the little tick in the top right here. Okay, so that's one image in place. So you'll notice it has gone onto a, a new layer. So now I'm moving over to our other picture. So this is our portrait. Again, just select all edit copy and then back to the A4 page and edit paste so yeah, and it's on a new layer now this one's the same page uh, same size as our A4 page so we're going to have to do quite a considerable shrinking down so again control T on the keyboard to bring up the transform uh, uh, controls um, the other way of finding uh, the transform controls where we are in uh, edit and transform so we here we have scale rotate etc etc so we're going to shrink that down. So again, holding shift and then clicking and resizing and then let go of the mouse first. Uh, and then if you hover over the corners, you'll see there's a double ended arrow. Now we want to click and rotate your picture around. If you hold shift while you're doing it, it will jump in increments, which is very useful because it will give you a nice um, jump to a kind of horizontal position. So let go of the mouse first and then let go of shift, bringing it across. We see it's a little bit too big still, so again holding shift and just bring it to resize so it's the same size as the other picture. 
So once it's in position, double click on the image. Okay, so we now have both the images on an A4 page. So we're pretty much there now. Now your options really here are to um, go to layer and flatten the image if you want to discard all of your layers. Um, but really it's much quicker and more simple. Just go to file, save as, and to save it as a JPEG. Now the reason I'm showing you a JPEG is because um, quite often print systems will um, find it easier um, with this system um, and with the particular um, college print system we have at Barton Peveril um, we use uh, the JPEG system, so the J JPEG format. So you will need to save it as a JPEG. From there you can then send it um, you can send it to print. Okay, so um, I, I hope that helped you out and uh, um, hope to Hope to uh, have you join me on a tutorial in the future. Thank you very much. Cheers.